I used to use Goodluck in the past a lot, but I found that it slowed my phone down a lot more noticeably compared to when I don't use Goodluck. So in the end, I just decided to stop using it in general. Let's fast forward a couple years in the future and I'm seeing myself downloading Goodluck on my S22 Ultra running One UI 5. Will it make my phone run any laggier? Will it improve my user experience? Keep watching to find out. But before I continue, to literally take two seconds out of your day to tap that subscribe button down below. If you want multiple videos a week covering Samsung phones, Samsung reviews and Samsung updates, Tech for Tech is the channel for you. After downloading Good Luck, I instantly got the Navstar and Quickstar modules. Those two are my all-time favourite modules in Good Luck and if I'm being honest, they might be the most useful features in Good Luck as well. Maybe I'm being a bit biased here. Starting with Navstar, I increased the width of my chest round because I found that they were always too small for my liking. I loved how Apple and, and other Android manufacturers have a chest triangle of a substantial width. It makes the animations on my S20 Ultra feel more in tune with me and swiping around on my phone just feels like an extension of my body now. In just a second, I'm going to talk about a feature in Good Luck that's completely changed the look of my S20 Ultra. Some people say it's a small it's a small change, but that small change goes a long way. Can you guess what change it is? Keep watching to see if you're correct. I also decreased the transparency of my chest triangle on my S20 Ultra because I want it to be a lot less distracting when I'm doing something on my phone. One of my other favourite features is the transparent hints. This is something I've wanted for so long because that boxy hint around the gesture handle is so ugly. I've always been jealous with iPhones because they were somehow able to do it but my phone still had that gesture in but now my S20 Ultra is able to do the exact same and I couldn't be any happier. Without the transparent hints the phone just looks a lot more aesthetically pleasing and better to look at in general. I'm not talking about the physical phone, more about the operating system of One UI 5. You may think it's a minimal change, but let me tell you, my friend, that change goes a really long way. Good job, Samsung. I'm now going to talk about Quickstar and why it's one of the most important modules in Good Luck. But before that, I'm checking to see if you subscribed. Are you subscribed? We can carry on with the video. In Quickstar, I really didn't change much. I might be wondering how the heck is Quickstar then the most important feature in Good Luck? Well, Give me a chance to explain. As mentioned previously, I didn't really change much, but there's one feature in particular that I changed that improved my experience with the S20 Ultra even more. And that feature enables me to swipe down to the quick panel in one swipe. This is where swiping from the top left corner of your screen gives you the notification panel and swiping from the top right corner of your screen gives you the control panel in one swipe. This is extremely helpful to me because I open the control panel about a hundred times a day. Honestly, don't ask me why, don't ask me what's the reason i really don't know myself so being able to open the control panel in one swipe will save a lot of thumb make in the future in the visibility of indicator icons i disabled three icons and that is bluetooth airplay mode and volume this is because i don't like a lot of icons crammed up the top right corner of my screen it does not look right the video is not over yet because samsung gave us so many features in one ui 5 and you not being able to activate or use those features on your phone is you missing out on so much fun watch this video here to see what those features are and how you can activate them like and subscribe if you haven't already follow me on twitter it's going to be the second link in the description and i'll catch you in the next one